Hey guys, all right, so I just got done swapping the um, the ROM chip in this 07 Dodge Caliber. Um, it worked, <laughs> it worked just fine. Uh, put it in, got it on the ground, got the fluid back in it, uh, started it up. It still was, the, oh, it's actually, as soon as I started it up, uh, all of the squares on the Prindle display, there was only one around the P. That's the first time that's happened for this car, so that was a good sign. Um, I went in on my scan tool, reinitialized again, put it back, it put it back in limp mode, uh, which kind of worried me a little bit, but I went in, uh, and cleared the ECU and cleared all the codes and it works like a charm. Uh, before when I just, uh, had swapped it and I turned it on and it was in limp mode, when I put it in reverse, it would really be a, a pretty you know rough harsh shift in the reverse it would jerk pretty good now it's smooth as butter that drives really great um, real smooth in the the shifting you know you don't really feel the shifts in this car but you can clearly see that it's operating the way it should so um, it works it's it Chrysler may not recommend it but it does work so take that into consideration I'm sure the reason they don't want you doing it is because it's, uh, you know, they're not going to be able to obviously warranty the work that you do, and they would never do that in their own shops. They're always going to want to sell you probably a remand unit that's brand new. So take this information for what you want. Again, you know, this is a uh, do it at your own risk. Uh, in my case, it worked, and I've seen another bit I've seen one other video on YouTube where a guy talks about swapping ROMs and that does work so when you're in a pinch you can't really take it to a dealership to have it programmed and you don't have the money to pay for that just try swapping the ROMs now in this case this transmission that I put in it was from the exact same car model engine size everything so just make sure that's the case you know if it's a completely different make and model transmission is similar i would be a little leery of doing it but it worked so uh, thanks for watching hit the like button um, i know i didn't get too much into detail uh, as far as actually changing the uh, the rom out as far as uh how i did it you know step by step but it's pretty simple if if you're going to tackle a job like this i think you'd know how to drop a transmission pan and uh i showed you on the other transmission where where it was located it's really, it was two bolts out, put it in, put the pan back on. Really not much to see. Didn't want to bore you guys with that. So anyway, it's fun working on cars, fun trying new things, learning new things. And uh, sometimes you fail, but you learn from that. So anyway, have a good one. Again, hit that like button, subscribe, and uh, hopefully I'll be making some more content here. I haven't really got a schedule for new, you know, making things regularly, but I'm going to try to. Um, so we'll talk to you later. Thanks.